We've seen many different incarnations of Link, the eternal hero of the Zelda series. We've seen the original hero, the teenage Link from Skyward Sword, the cartoony, whimsical hero of the winds, and the My Chemical Romance Link from Twilight Princess. We've seen Link as a young boy, all the way up to a young adult, but we've never seen Link as an old man in the Zelda series yet. With the exception of the hero's shade, the spectral appearance of the hero of time in Twilight Princess, Link is exclusively young in every game in the series. Except one. A Link Between Worlds, released in 2013, is a top-down adventure, a sort of half-remake of the Super Nintendo's A Link to the Past. It features the same world, but is set six generations after the hero of legend defeated Ganon at the beginning of the Downfall timeline. The Link in A Link Between Worlds is a separate hero to the one in A Link to the Past. Though he looks almost identical, this is a new incarnation of Link. He saves both Hyrule and Low Rule, as well as travelling to Hytopia later during Triforce Heroes. And yeah, obviously, this Link isn't an old man, he's a kid, around the same age as the hero of legend was who preceded him. But I'd argue that this isn't the only hero found during this game. I'd argue that there's a second Link you meet during A Link Between Worlds, a hero that's a true Link to the Past. And no, it's not Ravio. Gramps. Gramps is a pretty minor character in A Link Between Worlds. He's the Street Pass guy, an old man in Kakariko Village, who sets up Shadow Link battles for you, fights against shadows of other players with the game. Once set up, you can fight clones of other people's links, you're transported to an arena, in which you can't die and won't lose equipment on death, where you fight a Shadow Link. But this isn't all he can do. If you return to Gramps after completing all 50 challenge medals, he'll reveal himself to be the final trial, challenging you to single combat. Gramps is by far the most powerful boss in the game, one of only two secret bosses in the entire Zelda series. He wields a Hylian shield and a level 3 Master Sword. He has the full 20 heart containers, 50 challenge medals, Pegasus boots, stamina scroll, B badge, and the strongest armor in the game. He knows the great spin and he can use any of the game's potions against you. Gramps is an incredibly tough fight, far more difficult than any of the game's standard enemies. He has the potential to deal the highest amount of damage out of any enemy in the Zelda series. If you fight him on hero mode and are hit by the purple potion, he can deal an insane 32 hearts of damage to our poor hero. Who is this guy? Who is this strong? Who can match the hero in single combat more powerful than Yuga, than Ganon? Well, I think it's very likely that Gramps is in fact a hero we've seen before. None other than the hero of legend, the Link who defeated Ganon years ago during A Link to the Past. Let's look at why. This is actually a pretty common Zelda theory. People used to talk about Gramps' true identity a load when Link Between Worlds dropped in 2013. But it's never really been completely accepted, most people just assume he's a powerful old guy. But I don't think so. So, Gramps, the creator of the Shadow Link Street Pass Challenge, the game's secret final boss, could he really be the Link from A Link to the Past? The most obvious evidence is what we've already seen, he's the strongest enemy in the game, a bizarrely agile and powerful old man. This isn't any regular elderly villager from Kakariko, there's something he's not telling us. The rumour guy in the Lost Woods has some weird stuff to say about Gramps, a weirdly minor character to have rumours on. He mentions that the old man claims to be 80 years old, but that he doesn't think he's any ordinary old man. He apparently wakes at the crack of dawn to do one-fingered handstands, either a part of intense physical training or some secret abilities. Old men in the Zelda series are almost never just that, regular old men. They either have secret magics, abilities, or, like in Breath of the Wild, are another character entirely in disguise. During the fight against him, Gramps uses the Master Sword, along with a Hylian Shield. Obviously it can't be the real Master Sword, because we have it. It's a clone, a magical copy of it used during these fights. The Shadow Links, for example, are just copies of Link, so they can use their copies of the Master Sword. And so too can the old man during these fights. But it makes thematic sense for the Shadow Links to use Link's equipment. They're shadows of Link, so they mirror the equipment of the hero that they're based on. Gramps, though, why should he be able to use the Master Sword, even in these dreamlike battles, if he was just a powerful old guy? The game's hinting at his true identity, 
Just like the Shadow Links, which are copies of the hero, in a way, Gramps is too. He's a Link from another time. Not only does he use Link's equipment, he's also deliberately designed to look like the hero. The obvious point is that he wears green. Even during the battle where he has the red mail equipped, it's a deliberate design choice from the developers for him to still be wearing the classic green. In addition, he's left-handed just like every Link in the series bar the Hero of the Skies and the Hero of the Wild. Not convinced yet? Let's keep going. Gramps admittedly doesn't look exactly like the Hero of Legend. He has a large round red nose, more similar to Mario if anything than Link. But there's another character in the series that looks really similar to this with the same round nose, Link's uncle from A Link to the Past. If Link grew up to be Gramps, it makes sense for him to look like his uncle did in his older years. Going further down this rabbit hole, Gramps actually has a family in Kakariko, characters named Papa and Girl. And if you didn't see the resemblance with Gramps, it's undeniable with Papa. This character is clearly taking influence from Link's uncle, the hair, the moustache, even the open waistcoat. Gramps' family line look eerily similar to Link's uncle from A Link to the Past, which would make sense if Gramps was himself the hero of legend. Papa's daughter, known as Girl in A Link to the Past, looks... <clears throat> beautiful. But while she's not a looker, this girl, presumably Gramps' granddaughter, bears an uncanny resemblance to a rabbit with buck teeth and beady eyes. And of course, when the Hero of Legend entered the Dark World, he transformed into a form that reflected his true nature, a pink bunny. We're still not done with connections between Gramps and Link from A Link to the Past. During the game's end credits, we see a bunch of different characters celebrating. And for every scene, the staff role credits theme changes to represent the characters. A remix of the Link to the Past classic victory theme for Gully, Link's childhood Hylian friend. A remix of the Sanctuary theme for Ceres, the daughter of the priest. The peaceful Hyrule Castle theme for Osfala, Sahasrila's apprentice. A remix of the Witch's Hut theme for Irene, the Witch's Apprentice. A remix of the Zora's Domain theme for Oren, the Zora Queen. A remix of Death Mountain theme for Rosso, a miner who works on the mountain. The Hyrule Castle theme for Impa, Zelda's nursemaid. The Milk Bar theme for the Milk Bar and its customers. The minigame theme for the Cuckoo minigame. The Mai Mai theme for the Mother Mai Mai. And Zelda's Lullaby for Zelda and Link. These are all pretty major characters. The Seven Sages, two groups of Hylian residents, the Mother Mai Mai, who's part of the game's largest side quest, and of course, Zelda and Link. But there's one other character who appears in the end credits. Yeah, you guessed it, Gramps. Gramps appears standing alone during the end credits. He's not celebrating like the others. He's simply standing in the middle of the clearing. And you know how every scene had fitting music? You'd surely expect Gramps to have the Kakariko theme, or perhaps the palace theme that plays during his Street Pass battles. Nope. Gramps is represented by the main Zelda theme, the theme of the hero. But what I think is the single most convincing evidence, almost proving that Gramps is indeed Link, is his player name during the final challenge. When you fight him at the end of the Shadow Link challenges, his player name is simply Legendary. There it is, an exceptionally powerful left-handed man who uses the Master Sword, Hylian Shield, wears a green tunic, is represented in the credits by the main Zelda theme, and goes by the name Legendary. This isn't any regular old man. This is a hero, a man who saved Hyrule from the clutches of the Dark Lord Ganon countless years before. The reason Gramps is by far the strongest enemy in the game, a true challenge for Link, is because he was once the hero himself. Like I said earlier, this is a pretty popular Zelda theory, yet a lot of people discredit it. Let's look at some of the evidence against it. First up, the timeline. So we know that A Link to the Past, Link's Awakening and the Oracle games all happen within a few years of each other, as it's all the same Link. A Link Between Worlds is apparently set six generations after A Link to the Past, placing it at least 100 years later, most likely around 115. This would mean Gramps is well over 120 years old, which would seem a bit of a stretch if Hylians weren't known to live longer than normal humans. An easy example is Nico from The Wind Waker, the kid on Tetra's pirate ship. 
The very same Nico appears in Spirit Tracks a century later as an old man who reminisces about the Hero of Winds. Curiously, the rumour guy mentions that Gramps claims to be 80 years old, or so he says. That's a weird line to include, suggesting Gramps might be a lot older than he actually claims to be. I think it's reasonable to assume that the time difference between A Link to the Past and A Link Between Worlds isn't enough at all to disprove this theory. Link here, as Gramps, is just a really old man. There's also the counter-argument that we can't have two Links at the same time since they're reincarnations of one another. The hero's shade doesn't conflict with this since he's more of a premonition, vision-y type of guy, rather than a full-on Link in the flesh like Gramps could be. However, I don't see why we couldn't have two Links. Those with the spirit of the hero are sent by the gods during Hyrule's times of need. Why couldn't a new hero be born if the previous one was too old to adventure? I really believe that with the old man, we're seeing a hero from a past Zelda game and not just any hero, the Link from A Link to the Past, who was pretty much the most badass, powerful and well-seasoned Link we've ever seen in the Zelda series. The Link from A Link to the Past was known as the Hero of Legend, and rightly so. He was born from a line of knights and lived with his uncle in a small house in Hyrule. When Zelda was kidnapped by Aghanim, he was contacted by her in a dream, and so he rescued her from Hyrule Castle. Over the course of A Link to the Past, he defeats the Sorcerer and ultimately the Demon King Ganon. Ganon during A Link to the Past is quite possibly the strongest villain the Zelda series has ever seen, wielding the full might of the entire Triforce as well as his trident, yet the Hero of Legend bested him in single combat, undoing his evil with a wish from the Triforce. And after this victory, Link left Hyrule in search of adventure but at some point his ship was destroyed by a storm at sea and he washed up on the magical island of Kaholint. Here he takes on his second adventure, waking the legendary Windfish from its nightmarish slumber. Later still, after many more adventures, Link travels to the islands of Holodrum and Labrina, defeating Onox, Varan and Twin Rover at the request of the Triforce itself. In terms of the feats he accomplished, no Link even comes close to how badass the Hero of Legend was. This Link meant business. Years after all these incredible adventures, battles against nightmares, maniacal sorcerers and the Dark Lord himself, the Hero of Legend, the first Link in the Downfall timeline, lives a peaceful life in Kakariko Village. Every day at the crack of dawn, he performs an intense workout. Though he's old, the strength of the Hero hasn't left him. In the long years of peace, Link yearns for the thrill of battle, the rush of fighting someone truly powerful. And so he designs the Shadow Link Trials, magical spars where challengers can face off against the Shadow Links. But of course, the true purpose behind these challenges was simply to find a worthy adversary, someone that could finally best the old man, a true successor worthy of the title of hero. Gramps is the link to the past in this game. Thanks for watching this video, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Could Gramps be Link from A Link to the Past? If you like this Zelda theory, be sure to leave a like or subscribe for more Zelda content. Cheers guys, and I'll see you next time.